So the data we have about this particular drug, again, in animals um, who get oral mucositis because they receive large doses of radiation to their head and neck, much like uh, the patients who are undergoing therapy for head and neck cancer, um, shows that about half of all those animals will develop very severe oral mucositis. Um, if, we can, if we give our drug every three days when they're receiving the radiation, we can reduce the incidence of oral mucositis by approximately 50%. We've also looked at this in animals just receiving chemotherapy. Um, in those sorts of animals, again, because the insult is not limited to the head and neck area, we can actually look at the entire GI system and the same sort of mechanisms which cause problems in the mouth cause problems throughout the entire GI system. And so in the experiments where we look at chemotherapy, what we've seen again is about a 50 to 70 percent reduction in ulcers both in the mouth as well as through the entire GI system when given every three days. Um, this is a peptide and we actually were kind of surprised about this because it has extremely short um, half-life in the serum but it appears that what we're doing is we're reprogramming the sentinel cells to think about these sorts of damage molecules a little bit differently and it takes every third day to sort of reset that. Mm -hmm.